Hi and welcome to section 5, front end for the win, mobile first. In the previous section we extended Drupal using a custom module. In this section we will learn how to create a custom theme based on Classy. And then we'll use the new asset management system. After that we'll look at Twig templating. And then we'll see how to use the breakpoint module and the picture module. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with creating a custom-based theme on Classy. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating a new theme called My Theme that uses Classy as its base. We'll first create a folder called My Theme in the Themes folder. Then we'll create an info.yml file so that Drupal can discover the theme. Next, we'll dive into some additional information about themes. Drupal 8 ships with a new base theme that is intended to demonstrate the best practice in CSS class management. The classy theme is provided by Drupal Core and is the base theme for the default front-end theme, Bartik, and the administrative theme, Seven. Unlike the previous versions of Drupal, Drupal 8 provides two base themes, classy and stable, as a means to jumpstart Drupal theming. Stable provides a more lean approach to front-end theming with fewer classes and wrapping elements. So let's have a look at how to do this. In the root directory of your Drupal site, create a folder called My Theme in the Themes folder. Inside the My Theme folder, create a mytheme.info.yml file so that Drupal can discover the theme. We will now edit this file. First, we need to define the theme's name using the name key. Here, let's define it as My Theme. All the themes need to provide a description key, which will be displayed on the Appearance page. Let's call it My Custom Theme. Next, we need to define the type of extension, that is a theme, and the version of core that is supported. In this case, it's 8.x. The base theme call allows us to instruct Drupal to use a specific theme as a base. Here, we call the classy base theme. The last item is a regions key that is used to define the regions of the blocks that can be placed, which is a YAML-based array of key or value pairs. Regions are rendered in the page template file, which will be covered in the next video, Twig Templates. Now, save this file and close it. Now open your Drupal site and go to Appearance page from the Administrative folder. Then, click on Install and set as default in My Theme Entry in order to enable and use the new custom theme. As you can see, the theme has been changed and My Theme is the default theme. So, let's move ahead and see how it works. In Drupal 8, the info.yml files define Drupal themes and modules. The first step to create a theme is to provide the info.yml file so that the theme can be discovered. Drupal will parse these values and register the theme. These keys are required as a minimum when you define a theme. For example, the name, description, type, base theme, and core themes. The name key defines the human-readable name of the theme that will be displayed on the appearance page, which you can see here. The description will be shown under the theme's display name on the appearance page. In our case, it is my custom theme. All Drupal projects need to define the type key to indicate the kind of extension that is being defined. For themes, the type must always be theme. You need to also define which version of Drupal the project is compatible with using the core value. All Drupal 8 projects will use the core 8x value. When you define a theme, you need to also provide the base theme key. If your theme does not use a base theme, then you need to set the value to false. The libraries and region keys are optional, but these are keys that most themes provide. Drupal's asset management system parses a theme's info.yml and adds those libraries if required. Regions are defined in an info.yml file and provide the areas into which the block module may place blocks. Next, we'll dive into some additional information about themes. First up, theme screenshots. Themes can provide a screenshot that shows up on the appearance page. A themes screenshot can be provided by placing a screenshot.png in the theme folder or a file specified in the info.yml file under the screenshot key. If the screenshot is missing, a default is used as seen with the classy and stark themes. 
Generally, a screenshot is a Drupal site with generic content using the theme. Next, themes, logos, and favicons. Drupal controls the site's favicon and logo settings as a theme setting. Theme settings are active on a theme-by-theme -theme basis and are not global. Themes have the ability to provide a default logo by providing a logo.svg in the theme root folder. A favicon.ico, placed in a theme folder, will also be the default value of the favicon for the website. Currently, there is no way to specify a logo of a different file type for a theme. Previous versions of Drupal looked for logo.png. A feature has been postponed for Drupal 8.1 to allow the themes to have the ability to define the logo's file name and extension. You can refer to the core issue for more information at this page. You can change the site's logo and favicon by going to Appearance and then clicking on Settings for your current theme. Unchecking, use the default logo checkboxes for the favicon, and Logo Settings allows you to provide custom files. Now, let's dive into base themes and shared resources. Many content management systems that have a theme system support base, or parent themes, differ mostly in the terminology used. The concept of a base theme is used to provide established resources that are shared, reducing the amount of work required to create a new theme. All libraries defined in the base theme will be inherited and used by default, allowing sub-themes to reuse existing styles and JavaScript. This allows front-end developers to reuse work and only create specific changes that are required for the sub-theme. The sub-themes will also inherit all Twig template overrides provided by the base theme. This was one of the initiatives used for the creation of the classy theme. Drupal 8 makes many fewer assumptions compared to previous versions as to what class names to provide on elements. Classy overrides all of the core's templates and provides sensible default classes, giving themes the ability to use them and accept those class names or be given a blank slate. Now let's have a look at CK Editor style sheets. As discussed in Section 2, Drupal ships with the WYSI WYG support and CK Editor as the default editor. The CK Editor module will inspect the active theme and its base theme if provided, and loads any style sheets defined in the CK Editor underscore style sheets key as an array of values. For example, this code can be found in bartik.info.yml. This allows themes to provide style sheets that will style elements within the CK Editor module to enhance what you see is what you get element of the editor. Here's a list of a few resources that will help you. To define a theme with an info.yml file, refer to this page. To use Classy as a base theme, refer to the community documentation at Also, to create a Drupal 8 subtheme, refer to the community documentation at. So, in this video, we learned how to create a custom-based theme using Classy on Drupal. Awesome!